Okay, one of the things I'm really liking about Quentin is the status mode. If you look up here at the top right uh, and you click on status mode, you'll see some numbers appear for each of the items in green right here. And what these are saying is they're telling us how many contacts are in that stage of the marketing automation campaign right here. And you can quickly click on in and see all the contacts in that campaign, which is really, really handy. Um, so I can see, for example, that the landing page has generated 10 leads and then it might be blurry for you here, but we're also running a Facebook lead format and that has generated 41 leads and I can get a quick look at that at a glance. I can also see how many people are clicking links in the email sequence up here. 10 have done that out of 65 or so, which isn't too unusual. This is pretty early in the campaign, but it gives me an idea about whether I need to go and adjust those emails or maybe even adjust the traffic sources coming through. I can also see the goals that have been reached. For example, uh, nobody has scheduled a Calendly appointment yet because I don't have any Calendly links in this campaign yet, but I put it there uh, knowing that eventually we would, we would add those in. And uh, it's just a really cool view here, this status mode. And all you need to do to get to it is click on status mode up at the top right of any campaign that you're building. If you're looking to get your hands on this base campaign, which I'm using and we're using to uh, launch our automations for ourselves and for any clients we're working with, this base campaign kind of gives you traffic sources. It gives you a little email sequence and some of the goals I just talked about so that you can then plug and play your own content in and your own logic then you can just click the link somewhere near this video. If you're watching on YouTube, it'll be in the description to check out this free automation template and get your free Quentin trial today.